According to the CDC, Milwaukee County is in the green category or low category when it comes to recommended precautions against COVID-19. So what does that mean? Joining us live now is Dr. Jeff Potoff, UW Health's Chief Quality Officer. I know there are three categories, green, yellow, red. Green's the best, red's the worst. Milwaukee County's in the green, but what does that exactly mean? <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a great question. And the CDC has started to change a little bit how it looks at the pandemic. Uh, and this is based on a lot of factors. There's, you know, folks who are vaccinated. Uh, there's folks who've recently had COVID-19. They likely have some uh, at least limited protection. Uh, and what determines red, yellow, green is really a few things. Still cases per 100,000 people. We've been using that since the start of the pandemic. But more recently now, looking at, you know, how many of your inpatient beds in your area are occupied, i.e., do you have room to expand to additional COVID patients? Uh, how many new admissions are you having uh, of COVID-19 patients? Uh, and what this does is it helps us get to a state where we can pull away mitigation as long as our health systems can handle the volume of people that might still get COVID uh, versus, you know, more basic calculations that just looked at transmissibility and number of cases. I mean, that all makes sense, but, you know, Milwaukee County, as we said, is now green, but we're seeing in Kenosha counties, for example, are considered red. They're the high risk. Talk a little bit about the differences in terms of recommendations here, and also how can one county be green and then right next door it's red? Yeah, I think it's a great question. And, and you know, counties, they seem like they're these arbitrary lines. Uh, you know, I think transmission between those two counties is likely not significantly different. Uh, but I think where you're seeing some of those differences might be in the resources in that community to respond to people who have COVID-19. Uh, Milwaukee County likely has hundreds, if not thousands, more hospital beds uh, than some of these other counties, uh, which might make them more red, which, you know, advises people to take precautions so that they don't continue to contribute to hospitalizations in those counties, whereby in other counties, where they have more resources, they may be able to tolerate higher levels of transmission because they have the resources to handle the patients that will then require hospitalization. You know, when it comes to the recommendations, so many different communities are lifting their own local masking recommendations. A lot of school districts are lifting them and making them optional for students and staff members. You know, immune compromised, compromised people are kind of going into this restriction free society, one that they haven't really gone into in the last couple of years. Should they be taking any additional steps to protect their own safety? Yeah, I think this is where we should afford some of those immunocompromised people some grace. Uh, you know, if I was severely immunocompromised, I probably wouldn't be ready to take my mask off yet. And I might be hesitant to reintegrate into society uh, because even though I likely got vaccinated, I got boosted, I know that I'm unlikely to mount a good immune response. And if I do get COVID, I'm likely not to do very well. So I think for those folks who are uh, severely immunocompromised, uh, they may take it a little bit slower than the rest of us as far as masking uh, and reintegrating to society. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's something uh, that all of us else should remember too, uh, that we don't want to put those folks at risk because they, they're likely to do worse if they get COVID. It's a good thing to keep in mind. A lot of us, you know, forget about that. We're thinking about just ourselves. We have to remember others and be respectful of that. Dr. Jeff Potoff, we appreciate you being with us and answering our questions today. Thanks.